Hello everyone, welcome to Bioscholars Academy of Learning. So in this uh, video, I thought I will be discussing about uh, the preparation strategies for NEET exam. So the first and foremost uh, thing is you need to have a desire to become doctor. And that desire will definitely help you to reach your dream. Okay. Uh, as you all know, I uh, teach biology and I am from a biology background. Uh, so in today's video, I will be discussing about biology related preparation strategies. Uh, so you know biology, the total marks of biology is for 360, uh, 180 from botany and 180 from zoology. Okay, And there are a total of 90 questions. Right. So we should try to understand and analyze what all you need to do uh, in order to clear this NEET exam or get a good ranking and get a seat in your NEET. Okay. Yes. The first thing, uh, first and foremost thing, not just for NEET, for any competitive exam, uh, you first need to clear your basics. Okay. So you have to have a clear idea of what you are actually studying. It should not be memorizing. It should be complete understanding. Yeah. So that is one thing. Keep all your basics clear. And the second thing would be read your NCRT textbooks. Okay. Each and every line of your NCRT textbook is a possible question. So many people ignore NCRT textbooks. Do not do that. So read each and every lesson, each and every line. They are very, very important and they are all potential questions. Okay. Uh, the other thing people ignore is practicing questions. Okay. Ultimately, we are going to answer MCQs in the need, right? So we need to practice lots and lots of questions. Okay. Uh, only when you practice questions, uh, you will be having a hang on it, a hang on how to solve questions. Uh, your speed increases, okay, and also you will have your concepts cleared, okay. Practice a wide range of questions. It should not be very easy questions or it should not be very difficult questions. You should have a wider range of questions, okay. And uh, one more thing is, uh, you, you there is no... Uh, shortage for questions right you have a lot of sources preparing or having lot of question banks everything so you can always practice questions so if you ask me on an average you can always practice around 50 to 100 questions a day okay or you can also go like if you read a topic based on that topic you can practice the questions so if you are not able to uh, get the answers right please go back and revise Okay, say for example, you have studied cell today and you're not able to answer at least 80% of the question. So please go back, revise and now with more confidence, you will be able to answer a lot more questions. That is one thing. So along with uh, question practicing, you should also solve previous year questions. Okay, so solving previous year questions is very, very important for two reasons. First, you will understand to which level you should prepare okay second thing you will be used you'll be used to uh, solving exam type questions okay uh, you can always have since you have three hours to solve your physics chemistry and biology paper uh, you can always have an exam like environment at your home okay you can sit alone uh, you can have your own timings three hours of timing you can set the timing uh, you can answer the answer one previous year question and you can see how much marks you score including your negative marking okay so that is one thing so all this you can do towards end end of your preparation once you are very thoroughly prepared and you have enough time you can actually do this okay the last one is revision we study a lot we do a lot of things but we forget to revise okay i studied but i forgot Okay, when do you forget? You forget only when you have failed to revise. Okay, so revision is one such very, very important thing. Okay, so my mode of revision usually I suggest my students to write their own notes as and when they are studying. Okay, and while revising, revise that written notes. Yes, so always writing notes is one best habit. Uh, for any uh, study strategy for or for any preparation, writing notes is very, very important. So when you write it in your own handwriting and when you revise it in, revise it during your exam, uh, it will uh, we, you can recapitulate it very, very easily. That is one thing. 
okay and overall this uh, have time management okay uh, reduce your screen time mobiles laptops all those um, dedicate more time towards your book so dedicate more time towards your book doesn't mean uh, you don't sleep you don't have any kind of uh, uh, refreshment it's always studying no that is also not good okay have uh, things in moderate okay uh, that is one thing i always tell my students to okay so this is about uh, preparation strategies uh, exam strategies i will be uh, covering it in at another video uh, do stay tuned for our channel that is bio scholars academy of learning if you want me to make any video regarding any topic related to need uh, do uh, comment in the comment section uh, thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to our channel